Hey guys, TJX Proxy here. Hope you all are doing well. Um, today, I want to talk about something that's been a little bit on my mind lately. Let me try and fix this. There we go, that's better. Anyways, um, so what's been going on with me? Well, just to give you guys a little bit of insight. For one, I'm on a lean bulk right now. I am essentially eating the equivalent of a, of a of a Polish diet, but without any um, uh, drugs for depression. Um, along with that, I'm also eating some veggies and stuff like that. So a lot of meats, potatoes, um, noodles, uh, vegetables, some fruit here and there. But for the most part, just trying to stay away from sugar and car well, not carbs, but <clears throat> but like sugar and junk food and stuff like that. And I've already gotten some decent results. I'm as far as I'm aware of, I am at 162 right now, and just uh, about a week or two ago, I was 155. So that should give you some insight on how easy it is for me to gain weight. Which, this, that, this, that does really help me in the long run. Also with that, um, I've been looking into neoconservatism, specifically like the first generation of neoconservatives, especially uh, Irving Kristol, who was the founder of it. Now, I do think there are some things you can take from it, mainly the anti-globalization, um, sort of the anti-feminism, um, you know, uh, at first they didn't actually, they weren't fanatically interventionists, believe it or not, but they did want to be in the center of like geopolitics and whatnot, which I think is necessary. Um, along with that, um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, and also, uh, how they felt that democratic socialism and Marxism weren't getting anywhere. Uh, especially if that's what Urban Crystal felt. And also how the uh, imaginary state is a tool to be used and it shouldn't be abolished. That's one that a lot of paleocons to this day still don't understand. Because um, it, it has its uses. But Outside of that, that's kind of where my agreements with neoconservatism end. Um, trying to think of what else. But, but yeah, for the most part, that's what I would say I agree with neoconservatism on. Um, also, me and the professor, uh, who you guys might know, we have uh, mostly him. Uh, we've been trying to come up with ideas with politics. For me, it's mostly just fun. Um, kind of just separating my ideal, my ideal ideology, and I guess what's practical and pragmatic for the time being. Um, we've kind of, he's come up with a term post-right, um, as a mean, as a way of separating himself from the old right and third position stuff. Uh, mainly in <clears throat> like how one taking ideas from the German conservative revolution and for political theory about the American twist um, separating himself yourself from the old right not the alt right the old right's different separating yourself from the old right and that you're the, the post right is more willing to engage in more radical ideas such as corporatism and socialism and things of that nature um, also not being so focused on the JQ and the race, um, like to me and Professor, or maybe even in the, maybe something like Kyle, though I know he wouldn't call himself that, call himself post right, and, um, that, like, like someone who's Jewish and happens to be capitalist is just a capitalist to us in the long run um 
though you should go without saying that yes it is true right but it's something that shouldn't be so uh focused on uh, if that makes sense as in the end capitalism in general is bad for the american people along with that uh, we are trying to find more American authors to add. Um, like a lot of American political thinkers, I like get kind of put on the rug, like Christopher Lausch, um, uh, Richard Weaver, Russell Kirk. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else off the top of my head. Um, Patrick G. Um, J. Benin, I think that's how you say his name. Um, Edward Bellamy. Some examples there. <clears throat> and um, um, also, um, as you guys can tell, dressing nicely is per usual, but I feel like I've kind of overstated that uh, topic a little bit too much lately. So, but in the end, uh, politics at this point is something. That I do as a hobby. It's not something I take too seriously anymore, as I'm way more focused on theology and working out. To me, politics is purely what's practical for the time, uh, and just coming up with ideas of what we can do to uh, potentially save, or maybe not even necessarily save, but just at least get Americans on our side, get more people on our side. But, um, oh, and also, uh, um, I've been noticing that, um, like my skin lately, I didn't mean for that to fall, has been looking a lot clearer, uh, mainly as a result of just better dieting in my mind, state of mind has become a lot better too, especially as I'm uh, reading uh, the Bible. And along with that, I did buy some uh, copies of the New Testament and gave it to some of my, uh, to some people around school not too long ago. So we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, I don't get in trouble for that, but we'll that the wait and see. I should be fine though. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's actually about it. Um, oh, I did want to say one thing, and I remember Kyle talked about this not too long ago, and that's uh, when you're at school, right? Uh, if people are talking down on your faith, especially if you're a Christian in this case, stand up for what you believe in, right? Even if you lose all your friends, there is one person that is always there for you. And that's Jesus Christ. Jesus is always there for you at any time. And he will protect you from slander and from hatred. Now, I say that because lately uh, I have been sort of <clears throat> preaching the gospel at my school. And I was re referencing earlier that I gave some New Testaments to some friends that I have who are um, questioning whether or not they want to become Christian or they don't understand their faith fully. So that's my way of doing it. Along with that, I'm teaching them all the stuff that goes along with that and whatnot. But, um, oh, and I, and uh, one more thing. I have been looking a little bit back into, uh, German conservative revolution 
and um, there's definitely some things that I that I like from it, but overall, uh, I feel that in the end, the best person to come out of it was Spangler, but that's my personal bias. Um, but um, yeah, that's actually about it. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, drink a lot of water as per usual. This is CGX Proxy signing off.